Death is dancing on some historical images. And that seemed so much fun that we thought there's some kind of game hidden in here. It's funny to look at and it, and it, it immediately says, make a game about me. He draws how stuff is supposed to look. Felix the Reaper is a shadow manipulation puzzle. It's in 3D, but at the core of the whole thing, it's about making people die. Once you've figured out how to manipulate the shadows, you solve little adventure plots that will eventually lead up to a person dying, like they're supposed to in the plans of the Ministry of Death. He sculpts stuff. When you meet Felix the first time in the game, you almost immediately find out that he likes to dance. He's been practicing that for a while, and, and it turns out he, he hopes to one day be able to run into Betty the Maiden and ask her to dance. So it's, it's sort of his master plan. It looks really nice when, when a chubby guy like him dances the way he does. It, it sort of has this uh, inherent comedy to it that is both relatable. You don't laugh at him, you're, you're, you're kind of feeling joy with him. He codes, so you don't have to. In Felix we work with dancers and musicians and uh, historians. And when we get inspired from all their talent and all their skill, it feels like we can make a deeper game where the entertaining aspect uh, has more impact because it has the weight of all this skill and talent in these people. Things get sound because of him. In a sense, this is taking death more serious. We actually sort of cherish each person dying in this game because there's a lot of build-up and humor around it. More than just having it be some sort of mechanic where people have to die for you to move on. Even if that is what we do, we spend a lot of time making sure people die. Thank <laughs> you.